Hey everyone, welcome to part 86 of my Pokemon game series in Unity. So in this video, we'll look at how to add sound effects to our game. So we'll start by adding simple sound effects like this one when showing a dialogue line. And then we'll also add sound effects for the moves. So each move will have a different sound effect. Alright. So we'll be creating a system in which we can play common sound effects by passing an enum id for it. So let's look at how to implement this. You can support the making of this series by becoming a Patreon and get some cool rewards for it like access to the complete project files of the series, exclusive tutorials that are not covered on YouTube and access to the Discord community. So before we start, I want to say a huge thanks to all the Patreons who are currently supporting the channel. You guys make the series possible and I'm grateful to each and every one of you. So let's start the video. So right now in the audio manager, we have a function to play the music. So now let's create a similar function for playing a sound effect. So here I'll create a new public function called play sfx. And this function will take an audio clip as the input. Okay. And in here, we can just return from the function if the clip is equal to equal to null. Okay. And otherwise, we can play the clip by calling sfx player dot play one shot function. So the play one shot function is similar to the play function that we used before. The main difference is if we use play one shot then it won't cancel any other clip that is currently being played by this audio source. All right, so playing this clip won't cancel any other clip that is currently being played. So we have a function to play a sound effect. So next, there will be lots of common sound effects that we want to play from many different parts of our game. So for those sound effects, we don't want to play them by passing the audio clip. Instead, we'll show a list of common sound effects in the audio manager itself so that we can easily play them. So what I'll do is, first, I'll create an enum called audio id. So this will be used to uniquely identify each sound effect in our list. So let's add few common sound effects like UI select, hit, Faint, XP gain, etc. Alright. So next I'll create a class called audio data. So this class will hold the audio ID and the audio clip. So first let me create a public variable for the audio ID. And then I'll create an object for the audio clip. Okay, so let me make this class serializable so that we can see it in the inspector. And then in the audio manager, I'll create a list of audio data so that we can assign all the common sound effects from the inspector. So let me create a list over here. Okay, I'll just call this SFX list. So now I'll create another function called play sfx but this time instead of taking the audio clip to play it will take the id of the sound effect to play all right so this will take the audio id and from the audio id we should find the audio clip so we can find that from the sfx list so we can actually find that by calling sfx list dot first function but a more efficient way of doing it would be to store all the data of this list in dictionary because searching an item in the dictionary is much more efficient so here i'll create a new dictionary and the key of this dictionary will be the audio id and the value will be audio data okay let me just call this sfx lookup 
all right and from the start function we can convert the sfx list into a dictionary so we have a function called do dictionary for doing that okay so to use this function we have to import link so let me go ahead and do that and in this function we should specify what field should be used as the key of the dictionary so in this case we want to use the audio id so i'll just pass x dot id as the key okay and let me just store the dictionary created by this function into our sfx lookup dictionary okay so now we can easily get the audio data from the dictionary by using the audio id so we can just pass the audio id and get the audio data all right and by the way before doing that we can check if the dictionary actually contains an audio clip with this audio id so for that we can use the contains key function and we can check if there is a value with audio id as a key and if there isn't then we can just return all right so if the audio id doesn't exist then we'll return otherwise we can go ahead and play the audio so we already have to find a function to play the audio by its clip so let's go ahead and call that function all right and for the audio clip we can pass audio data dot clip all right so now we have functions to play sound effects both by using the clip and by using the audio id so let's go ahead and test this out so the first sound effect i would add is a sound effect for ui selection so let me import the audio file first so here i'll create a new folder called sfx to put all my sound effects okay and we can put all the music in another folder called music okay let me just drag and drop all the music here and let me import the ui select sound effect into the sfx folder all right so next we have to assign it to our sound effects list in the audio manager so here i'll add one element to the list so its id is going to be ui select and for the clip i'll assign the select sound clip okay so now we can play the sound effect from anywhere in our code by using its id so let's try playing it when we open a dialog so in the dialog manager script from the show dialog text function before we show the dialog i'll also play the select sound so let me call audio manager dot instance dot play sfx and here we want to pass the id of the audio so the id is ui select okay and we can also do this from the show dialog function which is responsible for showing multiple lines of dialog so here also right before showing the dialog i'll play the select sound okay so let's go to unity and check if that's working So if I go speak to an NPC, as you can see that it plays a sound effect when a dialog line is shown. Alright. So next, let's add the sound effects for the moves. So most of the moves are going to have a unique sound effect. So we'll have to add a new field for the sound effects of the move inside the move scriptable object. Alright, so here we can add a new field for the sound. So let me open the move base script. All right. And here I'll create a new variable for the sound of the move. 
so this will be of type audio clip and I'll just call it sound okay and let me also create a property to expose it all right so now from the battle system script from the run move function once we play the attack animation we can also play the sound effect for that move so from here I'll call audio manager dot instance dot play sound effects and for the clip I'll pass move dot base dot sound all right so now we can assign an audio clip for each move and it will be played when we perform the move from the battle so first let me import few audio clips for the moves so inside the sfx folder i'll create a new folder called move sfx and let me import few move sound effects into it okay so i just have two audio clips but you can go ahead and import an audio clip for all the moves all right so let's go ahead and assign these audio clips so to the moves like ember and flamethrower I'll assign the ember audio clip all right and then for the most like cut quick attack scratch and tackle I'll just assign the tackle audio clip okay so now when we perform these moves it should also play the audio clip so before we test let me also add an audio clip for the hit so that's going to be pretty easy we just have to add an audio clip in our sfx list so let me increase the size to 2 and for the second element i'll select the id as hit and let me go ahead and import an audio clip for the hit okay and i'll drag and drop this into our sfx list all right so now we can play the hit sound effect right after we play the hit animation so from here i'll call audio manager dot instance dot play sfx and in this case we want to play the sound effect by using its id so i'll pass audio id dot hit all right so now let's go to unity and test if it's working so let me go ahead and start a battle all right so now when we perform a move we are also playing the sound effect of that move. and we are also playing the hit sound effect right when the enemy is getting hit so that's working fine so we have successfully created a system for playing sound effects so i'll stop the video here if you think this video is helpful please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel that will really help me out. So, I'll see you in the next video.